is every Jiu Jitsu guy's favorite judo throw. Why? Normally, Jiu Jitsu guys don't like falling and they like to pull guard. Tomonagi gives you the opportunity to fake a throw and pull guard at the same time. That's what most people think. This is not the view shared by our association. Our group believes that you got to be able to take the man down. I don't want to fight from the bottom. So I'm not going to pull guard. I'm not going to fake a tomonagi to pull guard because I don't want to be on the bottom. So I'm going to, if I throw, I'm going to throw him to go all the way and land it mounted or at least on top. I'm not going to go and butt scoop. All right, that's the classic, you know, sitting on my butt tomonagi. Right here, you come right here and, you know, I pre oh, okay, I pretended that I threw him and now he's fighting for the top. No scoring points for him, no scoring points for me, but he has an advantage. And I just showed a weakness. I just demonstrated to him that I, I don't want any part in the stand-up fighting. That's not good. All right, we got to take that man down. So <clears throat> when I do Tomonagi, the first thing I need to react here to create here is a reaction on his part. So I will not start Tomonagi by sitting back because if I'm sitting back, James will pull back as well. So what I will do is I'm going to start pushing forward. So I start pushing forward. Don't exaggerate with the push because he can hit a tomonage of its own. So just react a little. If we get into the edge of the mat, that's the time to push because the man will not want to go, you know, off the mat. That looks bad for him. The referee may call stalling in his part, depending on the rules of the tournament. I might look, you know, in, in some styles of wrestling nowadays, you get a point by pushing people off the mat. So that's not good for him. He will want to try to come back with it. When he comes back with power against me, that's when I'm going to hit my tomonage. Never, you know, hit a tomonagi while walking that way there. If we're going that way and I hit a tomonagi, he's going to fall. It's not going to make any sense. So after I get that, that reaction, there are a couple of ways of hitting this throw here. We're going to cover the basic way. I want to go underneath him, just like a, a, a good sweep. i got to make sure that he's not far away from me. So it's very hard to demonstrate this slowly, but what I'm trying to accomplish here is a good pulling motion, opening my elbows, and at the same time, a sliding motion when I go underneath my opponent. Now, we're going to start right here. I'm going to move a little further away from the ball. I'm going to push right here. Once I get that reaction here, he's going to push back. Watch, my back foot will slide forward through, you know, his legs here. So between his legs. At the same time, the foot that leads, and this can be done in a couple of ways. This is just the way I prefer because of the nature of jiu-jitsu when you land on the ground. Once again, it's not pure judo. We're thinking a lot about the ground game here. My lead leg will be placed on his hip. Now, the pulling motion will take place. So I get his reaction. I step right here. I step right here. And I finish with a back roll. Now, once I finish, the same idea applies. I pull strongly here on his arm. And I try to get good posture here. This time, I got lucky. I executed a throw, plus I landed mounted. Six points for me in jiu-jitsu competition. Great. That's not our goal, though. Our goal is to make sure we get, you know, positional dominance. Sometimes the guy might land, you know, a little further, or he bounces, he gets one knee in. That's fine. At least, you know, I got my throw, and I'm fighting from the top. That's the key element here. I want to fight from the top. So again, I'm going to start right here, right? Going to give him a little tug. He comes in with it. Now I'm going to slide underneath the man and roll back. That's as slow as I can execute this throw. Normally I would execute it way faster with way more explosion. So this is a throw that needs to be explosive, requires a lot of power, and you've got to go and create a reaction. If you don't create that reaction, he's not going to fall for it. Do not attempt the butt scoot uh, Tomonagi. 